to bring to Shishi Life Noting in this episode, I want to take a look at this mirror geometry group notes for geometry notes uh, from Johnny Matthews. <clears throat> so you can basically download it uh, from um, Gumroad and you can give some donations to Johnny. So if you open up the blend, uh, so it's, it comes as a blend, it's not an add-on. It's basically like a group notes and the group note is looking like this. So it's really complicated, but if you hit tab, okay, you get this mirror note. So as the name says, it's basically notes that can give you the ability to mirror objects. <clears throat> so there's a bunch of examples given by Johnny. So let's take a look, uh, I think. Okay, there, there's this one with cylinder and there is this override mirror objects. That's uh, an extra options that you can use. Um, so by default, I believe, yeah, you can use the mirror objects. And in this case, the mirror object is this empty. So you can have this object and then you, the mirror objects can be rotated. So you can animate your mirror objects like this. Uh, geometry nodes um, and there's also this example using spiral um, but I will start from scratch I guess and I always like to just append we, if we go you go inside the the blend files and this is the, the file from Johnny you go inside find the node tree and find mirror group note so let's take a look very quickly let's start with the uh, Suzanne the monkey head let's save this very quickly so this is Johnny Matthew mirror study this is how I normally uh, study a notes I simply goes inside geometry notes and we have the monkey head here and we can go under group and we already have mirror or we can just search and we find the notes okay so by default it seems like doing nothing by default um, if we turn on XYZ you can see it's already doing something so it's doing the mirror just like the very similar to mirror modifier and it's kind of doing the same thing with mirror modifier you can actually do like flip so this is uh, definitely <clears throat> kind of more powerful in a way but if you go back to this one um, let's see we want to if you mirror in the X axis we can use transform and we can see yeah it's doing the mirror basically um, <clears throat> let's take a look the clip uh, there's also this option like uh, clipping so it's gonna try to clip the inside or the outside while keeping the rest of the objects um, I think it's not 100% perfect like I mean with merge modifier you can get rid of the the part that's being merged in this case there's some kind of leftover there if you look at it using face orientation I think uh, there's so there's an inside of, of the objects something to keep in mind but at least we can actually kind of doing the mirror and it's gonna clip at the center so you can doing you can do the transform here inside the geometry nodes um, do not maybe don't transfer it from the outside like this it's, it's only this is for the parent object so instead you're gonna do the transformations inside geometry nodes Okay, and you can do the mirror, just like mirror, like a mirror modifier. You can do it in all three axes. There's these options called override mirror objects. But before we before we go there, we're gonna use the mirror object first. In order to do that, we just use group input, and then we have like a empty. So I'm using the empty as a mirror object just drag and drop this mirror objects there so we can now select the empty and we can we can kind of offset the mirror so it's pretty sweet and you can actually do this multiple time 
you can have a different different mirror objects for example for the second if you're do it, doing it the second time so don't you don't need to use the same mirror objects so let's just group input and put that in so second mirror object and yeah I think but uh, however instead of using the mirror objects something that's a little bit maybe more intuitive is a different way to do it is from the inside you can actually override the mirror objects even though we don't have mirror objects we can kind of transfer the resulting mirror and if you want to recenter you, you turn on the recenter around the origin so that's basically I guess the the premise of the this mirror modifier oh I mean the mirror nodes you can copy for example select this guy select this monkey head and then command L and copy the modifier so you can compare Susan head and the torus with this uh, override mirror object you don't actually need to override the mirror so just keep it at the center with the clip turn on or turn off um, let's see what else we can do here so you can do the rotation so this one is a usually the usual way you want to play around with the with the mirror is simply by rotating the object you're gonna get interesting result um, if you want to get rid of the inside you can actually use remesh after so this is might be something that you want if you want to simply just play around with the with the mirror modifier same with Suzanne here just use remesh and it's gonna propagate oops if you rotate it's gonna propagate and create this interesting result so this is one one way to kind of play around with the mirror modifier I think the second way I think I will propose another way I mean you can start with a line and then use mirror again once again so this is default mirror modifier we're gonna have transform let's try rotating this and just mirror on all three axes let's see we should get something oh get rid of remesh so we have a single line that I rotated and we simply mirror it in X Y and Z axis and let's see maybe with the mesh line we can also um, use set position just to randomize a little bit randomize the position a little bit just put a minus 0.5 there to center the noise you can actually just use the noise in, plug this into the position so you have more interesting result right away so we simply randomizing the mesh line okay so it is rotated and we have mirror happening you don't need to mirror in all three axes but you can yeah you can just mirror it in the X axis for example and then you have this variations of the the line okay so it's uh, starting to get a little bit more interesting even though it's just like a simple lines and then you can use the clipping okay so the clipping you can pick one of these and then it's starting to get definitely more interesting you got interesting shapes all over and if you want you can also use another mirror nodes and then try this time you just create in four 
three diff three different axes and you can use clipping or not it's up to you and then you, if you want you can also override the mirror objects do all sort of things maybe not too crazy at the very end however you can also do another mirror maybe before I do that uh, let me try if I can make this more interesting split edge and then extrude extrude the edge so now we have some kind of shapes based on the polygon edge and at this point we can actually do another mirror oh, we can actually at the very end you can just just use this mirror modifier if you want to there's nothing wrong with that I think you definitely need to experiment a little bit yeah but you can you can animate the rotations and you can even merge merge the points in this case I'm using the split edge and extrude mesh right but you can also because this is like just bunch of points you can always use the point to volume and volume to mesh if you want to um, I have a few example actually doing similar thing okay this is a uh, this is something slightly different so what's going on here let me turn off this guy um, it's a cube that's been instanced on polygon line okay there is a mesh line and we have random scale plug into the box so the cube has different um, scale and then it's just simply instance on the mesh line and then I realized the box there's a bit of rotations happening um, let's see I think the rotation is happening over here You can also like use another mirror modifier and you end up with this kind of complex looking creations i mean if you if it's too a little bit too crazy you can always use another mirror so it's gonna kind of normalize normalize the design in a way so it's gonna look correct from one angle because it's <clears throat> kind of like a mirroring the whole thing again okay so let's save this so it's this is just simply basic lines with some offsets and this guy's doing mirror three times inside it underneath and on top of that I have this remesh modifier kind of remeshing on the fly and this guy is randomizing the seed for the box you can also add noise but I'm not gonna do that for now this is the translations and the rotations that you can do on the on the mesh line um, we can turn on and off the mirror and see the result I think the rotations will give totally different look here so you can use combine XYZ on the mirror on the override mirror and then use the time plug this into the X XYZ maybe 
it's up to you but you're gonna see the animations of the mirror kind of rotating so of course yeah okay this is faster without the remesh modifier of course there's nothing wrong if you want to simply use the mirror modifier here this in fact will kind of clean up everything because this one can do like a clean uh, clipping the mirror modifier is really powerful in that case however um, having mirror as nodes also give a lot of interesting uh, kind of possibilities that you you might not notice if you have just mirror modifier because this guy can do a lot all right so yeah kind of alien-ish kind of looking design if you want to call it design it's looking really abstract because doing mirror underneath um, you can try the clipping I mean see the clipping is not not hundred percent perfect because it's leaving the this flat objects you might be able to get rid of it but yeah you might actually want that it's not bad to have that clipping there must be a way to get rid of it or just taking advantage of the the clipping itself but anyway more or less you kind of understand how the mirror modifier works so if you want to try it yourself just download this mirror geometry nodes group from gumroad under johnny matthews so hopefully um, you find this useful. Uh, thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.